Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frameshift drive use. This Sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select Auto Launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. allows us to appreciate the good things in life. Other applicants are departing for their own evaluations, but this isn't a race. Each of the coming stages can be completed at your own pace.
consider the angle and speed of your approach. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed. Ah, there we go. 
Welcome to Lightspeed. scanning objects you're unfamiliar with to learn more about them. Next, you need to activate your weapons by cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. have an effective range, so you may need to move closer here. Thrusters are particularly useful for navigating around large structures. Why not give them a try? Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge. Shielded targets. 
Another craft has arrived. This one is fitted with a shield generator. Helpfully, your burst laser is a thermal weapon, which excels at stripping away a target shields.
frameshift drive charging. in a training simulation first. 
Whichever method you use, all ships must seek docking permission before approaching a landing pad. To request docking permission, open your external interface panel and select the Contacts tab. Then select Quello Station in the list, followed by Request Docking in the Information Panel. Docking permission authorized. Docking assist has been engaged. You've been assigned Landing Pad 3. The compass will point towards your designated pad. Ships need to be within 7.5 kilometers of a starport for a docking request to be considered. license has been issued, and you're free to traverse the galaxy as an independent pilot. Before launching for the first time, allow me to quickly introduce the basic interface for mission contracts. Almost all pilots will use the mission board at some stage. A contract has been assigned to you. Active missions are displayed in the Transactions tab of the External Interface Panel. This time you'll need to travel to Mawson Dock in the Dromi system. You can select these destinations on the navigation screen of the external interface panel. If you'd like to practice your journey first, I recommend the training simulations accessed via the internal interface panel. To review what we've discussed, select your comms panel and scroll through the recorded text. I'll contact you at Mawson Dock if you decide to complete this mission. If you choose to take a different path, then I wish you luck, Commander.
advancing towards this sector, Commander. Position authorized. Set down a landing pad. Four, three.